Hello, YouTube. Um, I don't know how to start these videos. I'm horrible at intros. But um, I'm going to show you all my class schedule for uh, my junior year of high school. Don't worry. I'm still going to make videos. I'm not giving up YouTube. Uh, but, dude, you should, shouldn't you take some time off so we can study for your classes? No. I'll be all right. Come on. I, I, and I like making videos. What? Calling stupid numbers and calling scammers? I love doing that. I'm not going to quit doing that. Anyways, uh, I don't want summer to end, but too bad it is. And uh, I don't even want to go back to school, but at the same time, I do kind of want to. I'm really excited just for one class, especially since I'm going to be redoing it. And I have met all the teachers. Now, I don't I don't think I'm going to I don't think based on the way I am, I don't think I'm going to have problems with any of the teachers. But then again, I, I I think I'll be all right. I hope I do have some friends in there in some of the classes, but let's get on to the schedule. All right. First class, oh, by the way, my school does an A day, B day thing. I don't know if y'all's classes do that too. I mean, not classes, but schools do that too. Yeah, I'm not editing this video, so if I sound stupid, oh well. All right, first class, algebraic reasoning. I don't have any idea what it is, so if somebody can tell me in the comments, um, please. All right, uh, physics. Uh, I did meet all these teachers on Thursday, August 8th, and the teacher that teaches physics said that uh, it's easier than, uh, what's it called, uh, chemistry. Yeah, it's easier than chemistry, and I believe it because chemistry is math in disguise because you got to be mixing chemicals and stuff like that i'm gonna be honest if it wasn't for the chemist chemistry teacher that i had i would have not passed and i think last year i got all the teachers that suited well for me and people still don't believe in god i can't believe it <laughs> all right runtime that's just a class that uh you go to you spend 30 minutes in there and you can't leave the classroom and you can this this class is really just a hit or miss sometimes you get a good teacher sometimes you get a bad teacher if you fail like a star star test or like like the test that you have to take i don't know what it's called in other states because i don't know if there's people from other states watching these videos but uh for my state it's called a star test it's basically like a end of cycle or end of semester exam well, end of year exam. I don't know what you call it. If you fail it, you have to go to a runtime for that class. Luckily, I don't have to, so I'm safe for that because I didn't. I don't think I failed English two. Um, I did fail algebra one, the the test for it, but I pat ended up retaking it and passing it, so I'm good now. All right. Next is biology, the class I kind of am excited for, especially because the my new biology teacher knows my former biology teacher and my former biology teacher told me that he didn't have a talk with me before class starts so that's gonna be very fun woohoo all right it's a whole two hours long i kind of just noticed that all right yeah this class i think i'm gonna have fun in there i did meet all the teachers they all seem cool so far all right, let's go to the... And swimming, I'm trying to get out of that because... Well, to be honest, I don't want to do it no more. Is that bad to say? I kind of got um, commitment issues if... That's why I don't like to make promises that much. Well, something small, but anyways, besides the point, I'm trying to get out of the swimming. And later I'll say what class I want to replace swimming with. Because I do have swimming twice a day for day A and day B. All right, next is U.S. history. I'm pretty good at history. I mean, I, would, I did pretty good in world history, but then again, I had an extremely cool teacher. It, and I think he knows about the YouTube videos I make, so I definitely cannot talk about him or say his name. So I won't. English three. Uh, I'm okay at en English one. I did horrible. But I managed to pass it. English 2. I did a, I kind of did better on it. Then again, I had a 
then again, you know how maturity goes, and it kind of feeds off of English one. And the people, the other students in that classroom, I, uh, I did did get a little bit of assistance from them. Why am I talking so good whenever I talk like a dummy on the tests? All right, runtime. You already know how that goes. Uh, theater arts two. This class, I'm gonna have some heavy. Uh, I'm thinking about if I want to keep it. Having some heavy consideration with this class. I'm thinking about it, whether there's students in there. I mean, if I got friends in there, then I might stay. But if I have to do a haunted house again, I'm not I'm not staying in it. it it's going to cause too much hassle. I'm not staying. If I have to do a haunted house again, I'm not doing it. Sorry. Hey, uh, whoever shows this to the... The new theater teacher, uh, yeah, I'm not doing the haunted house again. I'm so sorry. I seriously doubt people are going to show this to anybody. Nobody from my school watches my videos. Uh, and swimming, yeah, you know I'm going to get out of that. I might stay in theater. Maybe. Most likely not, because I do want to, I want to try out a manufacturing, which is like wood shop. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, the classes I want to replace, uh, swimming possibly theater with um i want to replace because i got two free periods so i got three spaces available um i want to switch out for what's it called uh yeah i want to do manufacturing and also i want to do either u.s government or some class that's a, some junior year class that i can get through easily so if i do algebra again i'm gonna I'm going to jump off a cliff if I have to do Algebra 2 that year. So I'm not going to do that. But then again, I got to take Health, which is after Biology for the second semester. But I'll go through that later in life on these videos. So there goes that. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Now, I, I don't want to go back to school. But I'll show you what my hope was if I can even find it in a note center. I mean, I kind of, I really don't want to go to school. But something weird about me is, is, like, the social part of it. That's what I wanted. Yeah, I wanted to take U.S. government because I only heard it's half a credit. But then what about the other half? I could take, I could be done with all of history. Or I should just take another class. I don't, I don't know. Fourth, a fourth science? No, I'm already taking two science classes this year. I'm definitely going to go insane if I do. Uh, I gotta take health, so, app, which is after, um, what's it called? It's after, uh, biology. I don't know, I'm still thinking about a lot of this. And I don't care if people say, oh, what about your, uh, P class? I already got that credit. I'm not, I don't, I'm not gonna take more than what I need. And yes, uh, when you take more than one PE credit, like, if you finish the PE credit, but you take more PE classes, those go straight to your, um, what are they called? Your, uh, I'm so stupid. What are they called? Your general electives, uh, section and credits. Like, those credits will go towards your general electives. And I'm not taking more than what I need. So, I'm gonna take as much as I can this year. Then again, it's a junior year, so it's gonna be my hassle year. And I'll be happy when it's over. So, because I wanna have the easiest senior year ever. But that's not even the hardest part of senior year. The hardest part is not becoming an, a parent. Which is going to be easy for me because I have no interest in romance. Yeah, I don't know what. Anyways, that's kind of what I wanted to sh just to say. Um, last year, I will say this. Last year, um, I did try being more social at school. Most of the time, it was actually kind of good. And there were some times it got me into trouble. And kind of sad about that, that it got me into trouble. So, and then I started to remember why this is why I don't talk to people, or this is why I'm usually quiet. This is why I stopped acting like an idiot. Because there were some classes where I just got into trouble the more I talked to people. I hope it won't be this way this year. But then again, I can be a little crazy sometimes. So I, that's why I like making YouTube videos, because I don't like talking to people. I just like being by myself. 
So, yeah, that's it for now. Um, I'm not getting paid, so you see the video's over 10 minutes. This I'm not getting paid for this unless I might be. Who knows? This is a video of me talking for 10 minutes about stupid stuff. So, anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.